Well, Pennsylvania's Attorney General Kathleen Kane is under fire over her decision not to pursue a three-year sting operation that involved money, wiretaps, four state representatives, and a judge in the Democratic Party. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Patterson tells us, according to Kane, the case was dead on arrival. I would make that same decision all over again and again and again, despite the, the criticism that we've received. We're back. When President Obama won re-election last year, he wasn't the only one making history. My home state of Pennsylvania elected the first woman to serve as the state's attorney general. Kathleen Kane was a longtime prosecutor on cases ranging from sex abuse to murder to corruption and fraud. And she's the first Democrat ever to hold the post that's become an elective office back in 1980. And now some Democrats are calling her a rising star in the Democratic Party nationally. Kane worked on Hillary Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign, and former President Bill Clinton endorsed her for a Attorney General last year. Let's listen to Bill Clinton. If you want somebody who's both tough and smart, both somebody who's got a steel spine and a caring heart, Kathleen Kane is your candidate. She has handled more than 3,000 cases. Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane says this. since her office has been so sharply criticized, she had to respond. This case was dead before I even got there. Dead. Those critics are pointing fingers at Kane for dropping an investigation into bribes allegedly handed out to four Philadelphia state representatives and a city traffic court judge who's not pictured here. All five were recorded 113 times by an informant wearing a wire. But Kane says, although bribes may have been accepted and crimes committed, the case that was being built well before she took office was so badly mismanaged, any prosecution would have immediately collapsed. This case was done very poorly. There was very poor management of the CI. There was very poor reporting. There were very pu there was a lack of investigative tools. Kane says information was gathered without traditional law enforcement methods, and the informant used to record the crimes was tainted, with no obligation to testify because of unrelated charges that were being dismissed before she took office. On top of that, she says there's evidence the investigation was racially and politically motivated, targeting members of the state's black caucus. There's no prosecution of these people who are accused of, of taking cash money to vote against voter ID uh, uh, legislation. Apparently the uh, offer was made to Republican and Democrat legislatures. The only ones who actually took the money were the Democrats. And uh, Kathleen Kane, the uh, Democratic Attorney General of Pennsylvania, basically dropped the case. She actually asked for the, for the files back from the federal authorities and then dropped the case and said, well, we're not going to uh, prosecute this because they're black and if we pursued it, well, I guess that would be racist.